So to reiterate and go over again, the foundational dream understandings. Um, one, every dream is about you, the dreamer. And that's because every person, place, and thing within a dream is an aspect of your consciousness. So yes, there are visitation dreams, um, you know, where you can visit with other people and other people can visit with you, past loved ones. Also, like us, we can meet up in a dream. You know, so you can definitely visit people within a dream. However, you know, those dreams have a different quality and feel to it. Um, so, and, and it's, and it's not the most common time, you know, you don't, you don't, you're not visitation dreaming every night. I mean, you might be, you know, if you're um, an advanced dreamer like that and, and that's great, but even, even with a precognitive dream, even with a visitation dream, even with a lucid dream, this, this same perspective in interpretation still applies just like in your waking life, you can go through life and apply this same interpretation the same way. You can look at the people in your lives and see them as aspects of yourself because like like we all you know have already heard and understand and, and know or maybe we don't and it's brand new but you are the company you keep you know the people that in your life the five closest friends around you the five closest people in your life that is the type of consciousness you're gonna have you know so the the people you experience through the law of attraction the law of cause and effect and the law of manifestation is going to be the exact same as being able to just look at them as all aspects of yourself and what you are you are bringing to the forefront of your mind um, in order to have these same experiences as well. Um, so uh, the third thing, dreams are a reflection of the dreamer's consciousness the previous day or two. So like I was saying earlier, your dreams are a reflection of, of how you've been using your mind. So, you know, if you're if you're someone who's just kind of like very funny and happy-go-lucky, you'll have funny, happy-go-lucky dreams. If you're someone who's very gloomy and dreary, you're going to have gloomy and dreary dreary dreams you know if you're sad all the time you're gonna have very sad dreams um you know if you're very like soft and playful you're gonna have soft playful dreams and, and, and you know the subconscious mind will deliver the message through those ways so um and and it's previous day or two because it's what's going on now you know uh, you're not gonna have a dream tonight based on how you were using your mind when you were 10 you know unless you're 10 now and you're watching this but, uh, you know, the more you, another thing, the more you give, the more attention you give to your dreams, the deeper your experience be, will become. That is because where you, where your attention goes, energy flows. You know, what, pretty much what you put your attention on grows. You know, so whatever you have your attention on will grow. The more aware, the more you have your attention on your dreams, then the more aware you will, awareness you will have on your dreams. And so then the more awareness you will have while dreaming. 